After winning Offensive Player of the Year and Super Bowl MVP, the question becomes, can Cooper Cup continue to vault himself from nice possession receiver to a place next to the likes of, dare we say, Randy Moss or Jerry Rice? In a world of hot takes, this one still seems crazy to even consider. It is almost laughably absurd to compare the totality of Cup's career to this point as being anything close to the greatest receiver in the history of the game, or even any of the wide receivers who have entered the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Except for two things. First, the stats and accomplishments are pretty staggering last year. Second, based on the eye tests, it appears to be a real change. Cup put himself in the history books last season. Cup, alongside Rice and fellow Pro Football Hall of Famer Drew Pearson, became only the third receiver in league history to lead the league in receiving yards and then help his team win the Super Bowl. Rice did that twice, 1989 and 1994. Pearson did it with Dallas in 1977. It was a culmination of a breakthrough season for Cup, who also became only the fourth receiver in league history to win the NFL receiving triple crown by leading in catches, 145, receiving yards, 1947, and touchdown catches, 16, since the 1970 merger. Only Rice, 1990, Sterling Sharp, 1992, and Steve Smith, 2005, had done that before. I'll hit you to support that view with three monster performances in the playoffs. In the three games before the Super Bowl, Cup had 25 catches for 386 yards and four touchdowns. That includes a critical game-changing deep catch against Tampa Bay in the fourth quarter, and his performance against the Bengals in the Super Bowl is legendary. However, it was that performance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that conjured up an image for now head coach Todd Bowles. The great receiver Randy Moss was an expert at changing speeds on his routes to catch defenders off balance. Bowles, a former defensive back, said of Cup, he lulls you to sleep with delayed routes and changes his speeds up, just like Moss. Pretty amazing for a guy who is viewed primarily as a possession receiver and had topped 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns only once in his career. Cup's breakout has been a culmination of factors that took longer to develop and was delayed by missing half of a season with a knee injury. Still, people who have watched him this season see the burgeoning talent that has elevated him to a path that could end up in Canton, Ohio. Indianapolis coach Frank Reich said he could see it starting in Week 2 last season, when Cup went off for 9 catches, 163 yards, and 2 scores in a road win over the Colts. In explaining what led to Cup's fantastic season, Reich stated, 1. Truly great players just find a way to keep getting better. 2. Matthew Stafford. 3. Maturity in the offense, and 4. Better team. Other coaches and players around the league have talked about Cup's improved strength as a runner, which showed up as he led the league in yards after the catch. Cup was also able to run through tackles more effectively last season. What also helped is that Stafford has been able to get the ball to Cup in better situations than previous Rams quarterback Jared Goff. An unnamed NFC defensive coordinator said, Goff obviously threw the Cup a lot, but it was different. Goff didn't see Cup as the primary guy. He also didn't get the ball to Cup earlier in the route where he could use his run after the catch ability. A lot of the stuff you saw last year with Cup is just him getting better, but it's also because Stafford makes it possible. Stafford and Cup spent much of the offseason working out together, learning the nuances of each other's ability. Beyond that, Stafford's vast experience and willingness to throw almost any pass at any time opened the world to Cup's larger scale thinking. In the lead-up to the Super Bowl, Cincinnati head coach Zach Taylor, a former Rams assistant, said, Coop's a big-picture thinker. He really understands the structure of the defenses, the nuances of the route running. He cares about the run game as well. There's oftentimes he would screenshot pictures of defenses with run thoughts. You would wake up the next morning to a midnight text from Cooper Cup with thoughts on things that could help the offense. In many ways, that's not too different than Rice, who took great pride in the run game. Rice also understood how the running game ultimately helped him see more single coverage, and how his blocking made defenders fear him rather than them expecting to be feared. Regardless of how it happened, Cup has taken the jump to a level few expected even at a time when receivers are more valued than ever. Over the past 15 years, 14 wide receivers have been elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Over the first 44 years of the Hall's existence, only 18 receivers were elected. While Cup has a long way to go before he or anyone else can consider the Hall of Fame a destination, last season was the type 
that can make at least some ponder whether to open Google Maps and pull up directions to Canton, Ohio for Cup. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you want me to go over coach thoughts on any other players, please let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.